morning, it's Friday, May 14th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, How Much is Enough? And our scripture this morning is Romans chapter 13. Wake up, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is almost gone, the day of salvation will soon be here. So remove your dark deeds like dirty clothes and put on the shining armor of right living. Because we belong to the day, we must live decent lives for all to see. Don't participate in the darkness of wild parties and drunkenness or in sexual promiscuity and immoral living or in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, clothe yourself with the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. And don't let yourself think about ways to indulge your evil desires. When I was a student in seminary, they called it a trial sermon. It's a lot like a meat market where the congregation gets to look over the prospective pastor before they buy. It's kind of exciting, actually. You preach before a whole bunch or a little bunch of folks that you've never met, and they have your life in their hands. It's somewhat like volunteering for the firing squad. They sent me a plane ticket, and I traveled to Central Florida. The chairman of the pastor search committee picked me up from the airport, and on the way home, I found out I'd be staying with him and his wife for the weekend. They had a prophet's room in a loft, and they were very hospitable. It was a wonderful stay, and as he introduced me to the loft and the rest of the surroundings, he said, whatever we've got is yours. If you don't see something that you need, ask for it, and you'll have it. If you ask for something and we can't get it, we'll teach you how to live without it. And then he smiled and closed the door. I suspect I've learned to live without a few things since then. It doesn't hurt. In fact, not having a bunch of stuff to drag through life has been something of a blessing. I remember Dr. James Dobson's talking about how when he and Shirley were young parents, his in-laws gave them a swing set for their little children. After putting the behemoth thing together, which had several hundred screws, bolts, and assorted other fastening devices, the last paragraph in the instructions told him, you must check each screw, nut, bolt, and assorted fastener monthly to make certain your swing set will operate safely. Dr. Dobson realized he was not the proud owner of a swing set. That swing set had gained a new slave. You don't own stuff. Stuff owns you. For you today, take a good look around at the stuff that may want to own you, and then decide if the presence of Christ can fit in that scenario. Can you truly be clothed with the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ, and at the same time, fulfilling every desire of the flesh? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.